live from the Fairmont Century Plaza Hotel, where we're going to party like it's 1999 and follow COVID protocols like it's 2021, it's the 2023 Writers Guild Awards. And now, please welcome tonight's host, the incomparable Janelle James. Made it. All right. Hello. 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 Welcome to the 75th Annual Writers Guild Award Ceremony and Strike Authorization Vote. <laughs> Before I get into it, in, in true writer's room fashion, I'm going to just go ahead and claim that the funniest jokes were written by me. <laughs> There's a feeling of unity in the air tonight, isn't there? Yes. I'm sure these upcoming negotiations will go smoothly, but no matter what happens, we're all going to support each other, right? Exactly. And if, and if we decide to take further action, we'll do it together. And if we decide to use any of that downtime to come up with movies starring Janelle James, who am I? <laughs> to protest, you know? That should kind of be the focus if you think about it. Solidarity. Tonight's awards are all about who was the best at infusing drama and character development and deep meaning into their shows, just so they could get crushed in the ratings by Milf Manor. <laughs> That's a real show, okay. This evening, we are celebrating creativity and originality, which is evidenced by all the different shades of black Teslas I saw in the parking structure outside. I think I saw a gray black, I saw a midnight black, black black, speaking of black, Abbott, Abbott Elementary is here, I see y'all. Speaking of black, <laughs> Abbott Elementary is a wonderful show that took the best parts of the office and parks and rec and turned it into a hit. <laughs> a history-making show that marks the first time black people have colonized white people shit. White guys keep telling me, to my face, that we're taking all the writing jobs, that we're diversity hires and such, and as you can see in this room tonight, they were right. <laughs> there's, there's upwards of 10 of us in here. That's, that's. <laughs> that's four on Abbott Elementary. And that means the other six is on Grand Crew. So uh, they say Grand Crew isn't here. You see how they do us? They not even, anyway. Wakanda in here, Wakanda in here, I see y'all. That's the other six. White Lotus is nominated for li limited series. This show can be broken down to the log line, miserable rich people, right? Or as I like to call it, goals, okay? I got dreams too. I like drinks and gays and murder. Mike White, you in here? <sighs> For now, I'm just an actress, stand-up comic, writer, game show host. I guess you can say that I am everything, everywhere, all at once. That's a pun, y'all. That's a pun, y'all. Yes, I'm very successful, but since I'm not a Nepo baby, current, <laughs> I'll always identify with the oppressed, right? So in solidarity with our lowly first-year writers and writer's assistants, I'm also not being paid for my labor tonight. I hope my landlords accept honor this month <laughs> in payment. I don't know. You might know I'm on a show, Abbott Elementary, that's on ABC. Yeah. Yeah. On ABC, that seems to confuse my friends and family, you know? They're like, how do we watch your show? <laughs> I say, turn on the television, you know? And they're like, but what app do we use? And I said, it's on network TV. And they're like, oh, so no, wait, we got to join that network? You know what I mean? Like, how much, how much does ABC cost? You know? So it's a struggle. But it doesn't matter how much it costs. ABC, Abbott is so popular, people are losing their minds trying to binge it. What you mean I got to wait a week for a full episode? That's what they say. That's longer than you're allowed to be out of the office after a positive COVID test. Speaking of quarantine, <clears throat> What We Do in the Shadows is nominated for episodic comedy. Yeah. 
And after being in Zoom rooms for a year, I think we all found out more than enough about what our fellow writers do in the shadows. <laughs> Remember, you got to close the tab, then share screen, Scott. It's always Scott. Put that lotion out of frame. Nobody's that moisturized. We know what's happening. <laughs> Steven Spielberg is nominated for The Fablemans. Yeah. I don't know if he's here or not, but likely not. This is the writer. Anyway, uh, <laughs> for the Fablements, he's like the Tom Brady of storytelling, except when he comes back, he actually wins. Ah, sports joke for you guys. Sports. Anybody? <laughs> he's won a Golden Globe, AFI. Y'all clap it up for a young upstart, Steven Spielberg, who did not show up yet. They said he was here. I wrote the joke. You know. Women Talking is nominated. Yes. Do you guys know who I don't see talking about women talking? Women. I've heard more about women talking from, I've heard more women talking about the WNBA than women talking. And that's only been twice. So I don't know. Y'all don't like that one. Anyway, what about this one? <laughs> Yellow Jackets is nominated for a drama series. They were recently renewed for season three, but you wouldn't know that because it's on Showtime. <laughs> Look, I'm sure that show is awesome, but I stopped watching as soon as I heard it was about women eating each other. Look, I support the LGBTQ community just as much as everybody, but I was looking for family programming, okay? It's gonna be three seasons of that, they say. You know who was even more shocked? and outraged, Netflix. They like three seasons, y'all wild for that one. <laughs> Netflix does occasionally let shows go past a second season. For example, one of its hit shows, You, is currently in its third season, right? Oh, y'all don't know that show? It's a hit, nobody in here, okay. But this time, the handsome serial killer isn't chasing love, he's just traveling across the country, choking out college students who are sharing their parents' Netflix passwords. <laughs> Netflix treats series like I treat free trials. Let me cut this shit off before I really gotta pay. You know what I mean? <laughs> Top Gun Maverick is nominated. Look, I know it's in vogue to make fun of Tom Cruise, everybody doing it, but he's one of our last true movie stars. And I'd like to see any of you losers in here beat him in the foot race. <laughs> Tom Cruise be running. Can we, can we agree? He be running. He's 60 years old, he's still doing all his own stunts. Meanwhile, most of y'all get winded at your standing desk. So how dare you? How dare you? The only thing running longer than Tom Cruise is Grey's Anatomy, okay? <laughs> The Bear is nominated in the comedy category. Yes, I think that is hilarious. The only thing funny about The Bear is how much sex appeal Jeremy Allen White packed into a five foot four body. That's right, he's a short king. The Bear is a dramedy show about a family restaurant business the last time a food service was this stressful, James Corden had to apologize. <laughs> All these streaming services are starting to offer tiers of pricing. For example, Only Murders in the Building is on Hulu's premium tier. But on their basic tier, it's only noise complaints in the building. <laughs> that did okay. I wanted to say domestic abuse in the building because it hits harder. You get it? <laughs> What about this one? Uh, we've got a stack late night category, full frontal with Samantha B. Hell of a week with Charmelaine, Charmelaine the God. Jimmy Kimmel, that wasn't that funny, come on now. J Char Charlemagne the God, I got it. Jimmy Kimmel and more. 
right? All right, so now I gotta say a joke about late night. Uh, what is funny about late night? What's funny about late night? You got me, I don't, I don't have anything. Oh wait, that's right, I love Conan O'Brien. Is he here? One of the nominated documentaries is called Second Chance, right? Are, are y'all in here? Second Chance, which is about, which is a documentary about a guy who invented the bulletproof vest. Did you guys know that? I, I watched all the documentaries, by the way. To prove, <laughs> to, prove <laughs> to prove his invention worked, he shot himself almost 200 times. Shoot it 200 times to prove it works? That's nothing, said the guy that invented the flashlight. Flashlight, God damn it! I fucked up the joke. <laughs> flashlight. Shoot it 200 times, that's a big joke. I wanted for the fellas. <laughs> All right, let's get these awards going. I'm not being paid. <laughs> 